What's up everyone? This is Asad and today's video is about PHP 5 procedural and MySQL database. So today I'll show you how you can protect your MySQL queries against SQL injection using prepared statement and parameterized queries. So let's do a little uh, comparison between a regular query and a parameterized query. So these are the two different versions of the same query. The first one is a regular query and the second one is the parameterized query. So the main difference between these uh, two queries are these uh, question marks. So this is the main difference. So whenever you'll write the parameterized query, you'll be using these question marks instead of using uh, these type of variables or some values. Okay, so let's suppose if you're using this first version, and uh, there are 10 users who and those users uh, need to be authenticated so in order to execute this query these four steps are to be taken these are mandatory steps so the first step would be the query would be prepared the second second step the database will parse this query the third step database will compile this query and then the final step database will execute this query so for example there were 10 users and whenever these uh, 10 users will be authenticated these four steps will be performed all the time so 40 10 multiplied by 4 equals to 40 So if you are using this parameterized query, so first step will be performed, uh, this one. And when this step uh, will be performed, this query template will be sent to the database. Then the database uh, will parse this query. Then database will compile this query without without specifying these parameters and store the result somewhere when the parameters will be passed then this execute function will be executed so if i use the same example of 10 users to be authenticated using this second version so how many times this uh, these steps are will be taken let me write it over here the so first time this these three step, steps will be mandatory three multiply by and the execute step will be performed 10 times not multiply but three so all together it's going to be 13 so if you are using this regular query the 40 steps will be performed so if you are using uh, this parameterized query the 13 steps will be performed so the second version is uh, far optimized far optimized and also secure i mean you can secure your uh, first version as well but still you cannot reduce this number which number this one uh, this number 40 so that makes the second version a perfect choice for you okay so now let me go ahead to open up my text editor to do a little example for you here i'm going to create a new folder prepared query and the file name is index.php the first step is to establish the connection between database mysql i connect and the first parameter is hostname which is localhost 
the second parameter is username which is root the third parameter is password I did not set any password so I would uh, leave it empty and the th fourth parameter is the database name so which is which is test in my case so now I have to make sure if uh, the connection was uh, established successfully if mysql i connect error number i called this function mysql i connect error number so if uh, there would be some kind of error this function will return some error number and this if condition will be executed and then mysql i connect error So then I would like to show the error message. What exactly was the error? And the execution should not go further as soon as any kind of error occurs. So execution will be exited on line number 7. Okay, so right after this uh, if block, let me declare two different variables. Username and the value is going to be a001 actually i have already created a database with a table and uh, let me show you first uh, this is uh, my table table name is users and the first username is uh, a001 and the password is 123 so i'm going to select this user password is going to be 123 so now I'm gonna write the query select username and password from users the table name where username is equals to question mark and password is equals to question mark so now I have to prepare this query for this first of all I need to declare this variable my SQLI prepare so the mysql i prepare function expect two parameters the first one is this connection variable and the second one is this query so as a result this function will return a statement object would be that would be stored in statement variable so now i have to check if the object was assigned to this statement variable or not error creating statement object so in the if block I have to call a function which is uh, my SQLI statement bind param query binding markers so the first marker is integer the second marker is double the third marker is string and the fourth marker is boolean so these markers are very very important so on line number 28 I'm gonna bind my parameters 
first parameter is this username and the second parameter is this password so I need to bind these parameters with my query so first I have to pass the statement object then I have to specify the data type of these variables using these markers so the first variable data type is string and also the second variable data type is string so I'll be using I'll be writing s s twice because I have two variables so if I had four variables so I had to write ss four times so the number of markers should be equal to the parameters okay so the first parameter was uh, username and the second is password mysqli statement bind result so now I need to bind the result in uh, some different variables result means the data which is uh, coming from database username db password so the result would be stored in username and the password variables mysql i statement execute mysql i statement fetch now the statement object will be fetched and now I can display the results actually DB password DB username and DB password this if statement means if uh, DB username and passwords are not empty then I have to display the values otherwise this error message would be displayed invalid username password username dot db username and the password is db password so let's uh, run this query prepared query so there's the result a001 and 123 so now let's say another query and this time it would be insert insert into users uh, values the first value would be username and the second value would be password values question mark question mark
so the username should be different this time because uh, I'm gonna insert this in my database new username and the password is gonna be same now if I go back to my browser if I refresh the page error creating statement object Why did this happen? Users, uh, this was my mistake. Refresh if I go back to my database. If I refresh the browser, so the user has all has successfully inserted. So now let's uh, look at the third query, uh, which is update. Update users set username equals to question mark where ID equals to question mark. So this time I would like to run this query uh, using the user ID. Uh, let me declare another variable ID equals to I would like to update this record the record number 31. Thirty one. So MySQL statement bind parameter would be the marker would be I since it's an integer and I have to pass this new username as well as the ID. So always remember this sequence matters. So this username is coming first like here and the ID is uh, coming right after the username. So this uh, sequence matters. So the username data type is uh, string and the ID's data type is integer. So before I, I have to write S as well. So now it looks perfect. So the new value is going to be Asad. So let's run this query. If I refresh the page, if I go back to my uh, database page if I if I refresh the browser so there you can see the record has been updated the ID is 31 and the username is asset now let's go back quickly and write another query delete from users where the ID is 31 so this time this record uh, number 31 will be deleted so now let's go back once again and remove this username because uh, this is not required anymore save and if I refresh the page, if I go back to my database, if I refresh this page, the record number 31 has been gone. That has been deleted successfully. Alright, so this is it for today. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.